Just picture this. After years of hard work, your dream career is finally flourishing. Your family is growing, your business thriving, and you're living the American dream. You made it. Just when you thought, you know, I have it all, you start noticing weird symptoms. Fatigue that makes your arms and leg too heavy to lift. And piles of dandruff on your shoulder. And then pounding headache. That pounding headaches that just won't stop. But you tell yourself, you're just exhausted. You're a new mom, you're building a business. Of course you're tired. You know, meanwhile, your intuitions whisper. And then it scream. Something isn't right. Have you ever ignored that whisper? The one that tells you something's off. But you keep pushing it away. Because I did. And it's almost cost me everything. It was June of 2018. I was a mom, a wife, a dentist running a growing practice. I really didn't have time to get sick. Because honestly, who does, right? As you can see on the slide, for months, my face was swollen, my body covered in rashes. And especially when my son, my two-year-old boy, asked me to play with him, I had nothing left in my tank. I felt so powerless. And you know, what's, guess what? I kept going because that's what high achievers do, right? We push through, we minimize, and then we smile. You know, after all, I had built this life from nothing. When I came to the US as a teenager, English was my second language. I studied hard. I graduated early with honors and went on to dental school. I built my dream dental practice, married my best friend, and got to become a mom. Everything looked so perfect from the outside. But inside, my body was really breaking down. And when I finally became desperate, one of my dental patients suggested that I should see a functional medical doctor. I really didn't have any other option at this point, so I went. And during that two hours intake, they drew vial after vial of blood. They asked me about my childhood, my diet, and even my work environment. Honestly, that was the most thorough evaluation I had ever experienced. And then when I returned to discuss the result, I was shocked. The doctor told me I had heavy metal toxicity. At first I thought, no way. You know, there's no way because I didn't eat that much seafood. But she said, no, Katie, this is inorganic mercury. It's from your work environment. At that moment, my mind stopped racing. I stopped picturing all the time that I remove mercury fillings from patient mouth, and at the same time was breathing in that mercury vapors that was released. And the same dental material I work with every day to help to fix patient's smile had been slowly poisoning my body. I was in disbelief. And in a weird way, I felt betrayed by my own profession. The very thing that I love and was so proud of. And then for months after that, I was trying to detox through treatment that was not designed for my body and so guess what? My body crashed even harder. I remember lying awake at night, sleepless, feeling hopeless, and feeling trapped in this body that could, would not cooperate. I asked myself, how did I even get here? How did I, you know, something that I love so much, like dentistry, make me so sick? And that night, I remember, I made a promise to myself that if I ever figure this out, I will make sure no one, not my patient, not my team, not any fellow dentist, would ever have to feel that way again. And that was my moment of 
surrender. And the good news is it became my start, my transformation. And because of that, I found wellness dentistry, like a different approach that connect the mouth, you know, treat the mouth not as a, a separate system, but as a gateway to the entire body. And you think about the mouth just like a crystal ball. You actually will see that it's reflect your overall health, and you can even predict your medical future. So, you know, um, as a wellness dentist, we, we know that, you know, we call that like a male body connection. You know, according to the CDC, more than 90% of systemic disease are showing signs in the mouth. And things like heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer, and even autoimmune disorder. And yet, the CDC also state that only 65% of adults even go to the dentist every year. And most people wait until they're in pain. Where else in life are you waiting in pain? And why are we doing that? Well, because we have been conditioned to fix the problem, not to prevent them. You see, the mouth gave us clues long before the disease show up. You know, changes in your gums, your saliva, your breath, they all early warning sign. And if we learn to listen, the mouth could help us to prevent disease before it's happened. So as a wellness dentist, I now use precision and longevity approach, which is personalized care that take into account of your genetic, your lifestyle, and your environment. And in fact, every day at work, I study saliva under the microscope. I track biofilm, the bacteria that are living on my patient teeth and under their gum. And I collaborate with their doctors and healthcare professionals because we all know the mouth is where your, not just where your wellness begins, but it is where your ownership of your health begins. And you see, for years, I believed that being a great doctor meant putting my patient first at any cost, including my health. And I learned that the very hard way that you cannot pour from an empty cup. To truly care for others, you have to own your wellness first. And that's what own it means to me. Owning your health, your choices, your power to change your story before it's written for you. So I know what you're thinking right now. Where do I start? <laughs> the good news is start small. Start looking for dentists that look beyond your smile and look at the whole body. The dentists that look at your saliva and do saliva testing that will remove your mercury filling safely and will work with your doctor and collaborate with them. Meanwhile, you can go back to the very basic that actually can heal our body. Things like sleep, hydration, nutrition, and detoxification. We all know sleep gave us the time to repair the body so it can repair. Our food is our medicine. We know this. It's not just calories. Hydration, did you know that it's helped our mouth to produce saliva, which is our natural defense for the body? and detox through your sweat, through your breath, and your bowels. That's what keep your body in balance. You know, most often the solution is not always about what you can add, but actually what you can remove. When I start focus on the basic, my body began to heal. I start noticing my energy return, my skin, and my mind clear. And you know what unexpected? My purpose became crystal clear. I want to help others see the mouth, not just as a smile, but as a crystal ball for their health. You see, our bodies are incredible at healing themselves when we give them the right support. And 
they whisper to us through symptoms, signals, and sensations. So right now, I invite all of you to close your eyes or just fix your gaze and ask yourself this. What is your mouth, your body, your intuition trying to tell you? And when you open your eyes, I will leave you with this. Are you listening? And will you be brave enough to own it? Thank you.